Well, the weather is uh, really looking bad for later today when the tide's low. Jack and uh, we're on a mission right now. We're going over to the uh, Virginia Beach Farmers Fair. They have a big fair in Virginia Beach. Been there for uh, 20 years. Every day they have a fair. You know, it's a great big, great big complex. The lady stopped by the East Beach, I probably already told you this, Saturday a week ago, and said they need a knife sharpener. So I'm going to ride out there and uh, see what it looks like. Cause I, I have been there, but like I said, it was when I was married. That was over 20 years ago. So I haven't been there in a long time. But I'm going to check it out now, me and Jack. Oh, see you in a little while, I hope. For the spin on the bay, on the bay. It's a rather good size complex. I remember that part of it. We'll take a spin through here first. Fish guy, fresh eggs, it says. Tilapia, mussels. Wonder who he is. I gotta check him out. I know most of the fish guys around here. Rural Heritage Center. Organic grocer. I think my cousin's my cousin you know that just died, I think his wife works in this place right here. That's how I've kind of found out about it. I was going the wrong way, it's a one way street. I gotta go this way. Kempsville Florist. Season's best. Uh-oh. Crap, can't go nowhere. That's a pretty cool place, looks like to me. Come on, you want to pee on everything? Took Jack out of the truck because it's too hot. Now he wants to pee on everything. You're bad, Jack. You want to pee on that too? Yeah, that's right. and country grill man we got everything in this place well this is a management office I got a lot of information from her is where I'd be setting up at right here in this big building under this under this roof do that they supply the table they supply everything all I got to do is bring my rear end over here I get each one of these little spots is a, is a vendor. Each little garage door, as you see it here. They charge $25 a day or $40 a week. Oh, here it is right here. Covered area daily. $25 a day, weekly $40, table rental five, water fee. What the hell's water? Oh, yeah, electric. 
eight dollars per space. Okay, I got juice if I need it. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. What do you think, Big Ol' Jack? I could bring you over here and tie you on a rope. I think we may have to try it. They got a great big event going on here Saturday. She said they're really busy on events. But it starts at 11 and runs through 3. I think that's it right there. Milling carving contest. We may have to do two fairs on Saturday. Let's we'll see how it goes. Notice to all vendors, all daily, weekly, must be checking at the market office prior to setup. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Setup is 8.30 a.m., not before. Daily rentals, 8.30. That's like the crack of dawn almost. 8.30. God, I have to get up early another day. I was thinking about doing this on a Tuesday or something. I don't know. All right, let's take another walk. We're walking in a circle now. I mean, we were walking in a circle. There's the jets going by. We're only uh, minutes minutes away from the jet base. Come on. Come on, we gotta go this way. You're a pain. We gotta see what's going on out here. Funko Strawberry Festival. Oh, it's just some little kids doing something. Yeah. Come on, come on. I think this is where we came at. This Gilly's Creamy, he sets up with me sometimes at the fair at Ocean View at East Beach. S and H produce. We've already been here. I don't know if you can see it too good, but that's a big box right there. Came in today from Uline. Along with my uh, Kevlar gloves. I took Jed's advice and got some Kevlar gloves. I got to set up some mediums and some large to see which ones I want the best. Or how they fit the best. I think the mediums will probably be okay. We'll get them out of there in a minute and take them inside with us some light. All right, in the big box, there are a hundred little boxes, tie boxes. I'm gonna try them to, for some knives, see if I can put some knives in them. I could have got black, but black was like 20 or $30 more for a hundred, so I got the white ones. I think they're four and a half by 12 or 13. I can't remember, but I'll tell you in a little bit and like three quarter inch deep. That's the only thing I don't like about them. They ain't very deep. Well, they're perfect size if all your knives are like that. That fits in there perfect. That fits in there perfect. Everything fits in there perfect. As long as they're not too long. I'm glad to see that. I was kind of worried about that. Nice. I'm going to put a big rubber band around them. My son's got me some name tags, I mean some labels with my gray knife on them, my big knife. It's going to go right there. I think it's like almost six inches long and three, inch, and three inches wide. I think that's what it is. But I don't have those yet. Okay, update. Here are the gloves. High flex Ansel. These are nines, what they call large. And these are eights, which they call mediums. And I can wear either pair. I think the eights uh, fit a little tighter, which of course they're supposed to since they're mediums. But the nines, uh, nines work good too. I just don't know if I can wear them. But I'll give them a try. Um, I'll try anything once or twice. Slash proof. The only thing they're saying you cannot spear proof. Right. We'll have to see how that goes too. Okay, okay, that's it.